Sometimes we want to disconnect the battery to do some small service procedure. Maybe it's an easy to get to alternator, a blow motor, it's got a module, power module's got power to it all the time, charge signal switch, whatever. And we don't want to lose power though to the vehicle because we'll have to do all those relearns. Sometimes the relearns of power windows and power uh, sunroofs and, and steering angle sensors and all that stuff can take more time than the actual job that you had to do that required the battery cable removal. So if we just keep the memory in the vehicle, well, there are some ways to do that. I'm going to tell you some ways that I prefer over others. Let's do a really common method first where I use a boost box, something like this or one of the bigger boost boxes. And we go to a junction point where there's B plus and ground handy on the vehicle. And then we take the battery cable off and we still have this being in essence the battery supply to all the modules in the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and walk over to this fusion hybrid and we'll do that. So I got a spot right here next to my Beck Bust Electrical Center with a great big red cable of DC going to it. It's DC, so I don't need to worry about anything with high voltage safety gloves like those class three, class zero thousand volt gloves we work with working with orange cables. But the red cable here is just 12 volts. So I got a spot there. I got a good spot here on a ground point. I'll just leave that lane here. I'll turn the boost box on. And now we've got power that we can maintain on the vehicle and go to the back, disconnect that battery cable, do whatever work we got to do. But the, here, here's the whole point of this. That would be great if I wanted to change a battery out. If the battery removal and replacement did not require a registration procedure or any kind of a relearn for the charging system, for battery management, BMS systems. If I simply just want to avoid power window and steering angle sensor relearns, That'd be fine if I wanted to re replace that battery, but I have to keep in mind all wrenches and ratchets and things, I'm working with live circuits. So if you took the negative off, that don't mean squat. That positive is still gonna be part of the complete circuit in the back of that vehicle, in the trunk with that 12 volt auxiliary battery. So I gotta be really careful, insulated tools, making sure no conductive tool touches the ground between positive post of the battery or the positive cable even and ground. That implies the positive cable itself, so you need to wrap it with some tape or whatever while you replace the battery or have an assistant hold the battery cables, isolating them from anything grounding on the vehicle and then slide the new battery in.